Titties, 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 my ass, my pussy, and my crack, my pussy, and my crack. Okay, welcome back to the Boys Only Club podcast. I'm going to leave these headphones on just so I know if you're speaking directly into the microphone. Oh, yeah, you like to yell at me for that. I, You know what? It's hard, but this is easy because I'm facing you this time. We're, yo, yeah, because I was, yo, yeah. Um, welcome back to uh, Boys Only Club episode 10. Ten. Hello. Last time the setup was a little bit different because we had a guest. <laughs> However. My intention uh, with the previous podcast, since it was a, a different setup, that we'd have it look like a business meeting and that, you know, since I'm who I am and my power, I wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> Your absolute power. I, I wanted to be represented as such and to do that... You uh, needed to be at the end of the end table. End of the table. Well, before we saw it through the lens, and when you first showed me, it looked good. I was like, I get it. I get it. Boss, sir, man, dude. It made sense. It but, did. But then, what kind of lens did you use? I use, well, I use the same lens, and it's a 17 to 40 millimeter. If you know what that means, that means it's a wide angle lens, which also means that whoever's furthest away looks... This tiny. Real and essentially, tiny. Um, my power uh, turned into everything that I didn't want <laughs> it to look like, which was I, I looked like a tiny man. <laughs> I looked like a such a tiny little man, and you looked so far away. I legitimately, it wasn't even like, oh, we can tell that's an, that's a mirage. No, we no, can no, tell no, that's no. a. It almost looked like you got green screened in because you were like that tiny, and your features were tiny. I don't know. It was. I amazing. had tiny hands. You had tiny hands, but when you reached out like towards Parker, it got like big and long. <laughs> it was like it's like uh, a Winter Wonderland. Win- it was like a uh, Alice in Wonderland movie. What's Wonder Wonderland? Couldn't think of a gotcha. movie with a special cat. <laughs> the tree cat. You know who sits there yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he sounds just I'm like I'm alive. That. <laughs> I think is, 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 is his catchphrase. You know, he's like, a, he sits there, he's like, cat. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chucky. Chucky. Chucky the cat. <laughs> yeah, Chucky goes, I'm alive. <laughs> All right, well, what's the other thing that you messed up last week in regards to this podcast? Pretty much anything podcast related, related. last week, I messed All up. All fucked up. So I'm owed the last podcast to edit plus this one because yeah. Raina edited two while I did something else. It's okay. And then I'll, and then we'll go back to normal. So yeah. then the response. Yeah, you got the next one. Split. Then I got this one. Yep. Yeah. It's going to work out. However, you forgot to, well, okay. One of them is your fault. The other one wasn't your fault. You forgot to put in artwork, even though I freaking took them for you and sent them to you directly. Yeah. I wrote down five excuses. Why? If you'd like to, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you'd like me to, um, what happened with the art? Well, I started it off with, um, <clears throat> sorry about the art. <laughs> that was the first line. Uh, and then somehow it says double the art. Oh, that's right. So you'll be noticing uh, it, double the art playing now if you've sent an art. And you can continue to send an art that will be put in the next podcast at hashtag boys only art. So we, we promise to put it in there. Mistakes time. like that will not happen again. I didn't want to call you out on it. I checked oh, on the video. Oh, no, I feel so bad. I, <laughs> I didn't think about it until the next day, and then I texted you because I was so embarrassed. Because I know. I, like, I punish people when they make mistakes. I know you And do. when I do, I don't punish myself because I'm a good boy. Well, you also you you have a certain level of guilt, I think. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, just I mean, a little. I enough, feel bad enough. because, well, I mean, it was a mistake. and. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about more of your excuses as to why it happened. Because there, it, it culminated... To this for a reason. Well, it all started out uh, when nobody is easy to schedule, and we had a guest who showed up continuously, like later and later and later. <laughs> AK, I'm not gonna call him out, but I mean, we've only had one guest so far, and so, his name's Parker. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that did. Yeah, work. originally it was supposed to be recorded at seven. Yes, it was got seven. pushed to seven thirty because I well, I didn't know why at first. Then I got pushed to eight, and then Parker texted me. He's like, "Yeah, it's because I'm on a hike," and it's like. <laughs> Ah, yeah, you know what? That's fine, Parker. You're a special guest. We're and good, you're a good yeah. Boy. So the podcast got pushed late, uh, and in order to edit it, well, I mean, it takes a really long time to edit those podcasts, surprisingly, because of the render time and the upload time. It's an hour long, 1920 by 1080. It's not great. We were originally going to record 4K, which would have been so a dumb. fucking nightmare. And also, like, what's the point of that? No point. No point. Um, maybe in the future, but who knows? Uh, so I already had time going <laughs> against me. <sighs> and that's when I realized Parker wasn't bringing an XLR microphone. That is what this cord is. It sounds better. It's a condenser microphone. Yep. Uh, USB microphones generally <laughs> sound not like trash. <laughs> they sound like an AT2020. It's an Audio-Technica mic. It sounds mine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yours is but an AT2020 XLR, XLR cord. Yep. Uh, makes a big difference. Um, oh, God. Sorry. I'm still sick. Yeah, it's really gross. He's been coughing and sniffling all over me. Like My whole car is filled with tissues. That's disgusting. I know. No, it's fucking gross. Oh, my God. I know. Yeah. Uh, so I had time going against me. Um, what else was I saying? Well, um, his like, USB was all messed up. Well, no, his he USB brought a shitty mic that I had to mic. 
So it took even longer because I had to edit around it. And you may notice in the last podcast, there are points where I got very lazy for about 10 minute spans and you'll hear a lot of like echoey voices between both of us. And that's because I just didn't cut around Parker's voice because I was like, it's 11 o'clock PM. I have to edit my own video still. Basically, Parker's mic picked up our mics at all times, Mm -hmm. all times. And therefore, yeah, good, good job. I mean, I'm I'm not here to talk shit about guests because then no one's going to want to come on. It's not about that. It's our fault. We needed a We needed to provide the microphone. That's our bad. And you know what? We started monetizing these videos. Maybe we should spend it on a We're microphone. We're gonna buy it. That a should microphone. be what we that should do. Be it. Yeah, yeah, we should buy two like straight up good microphones. And then maybe we should buy a couch at a certain point. <gasps> that would be lovely. Well, when if we okay, so yeah, I'll be getting the office in the next like month. Oh yeah. So then we'll just put nice. the set there, and we'll just use the sweet boys only club profit from um, to support my finances. Your finances, yeah. only yours. Yep, that's not both of ours. Not tiny, tiny club. boss man. I'm tiny boss man. You're the tiny boss man. Uh, that's why. Let me see if I had other excuses. Oh, Par- I wrote down Parker brought a shitty mic, and I had to edit around it for an hour. Oh, and then the final excuse was that I was tired. <laughs> Wait, I have an added excuse for you that might actually work in your favor. Um, after we recorded the podcast, we needed to have a business meeting. Oh yeah, a to talk real- about merchandise and to talk about the future of like what we're all doing. It was horrendous. We were so tired anyway. Yeah. None of us could do math at that point. I completely forgot there was art to put in. There was, yeah. I and it, it sucks because there's so much good art this time. There and not so that there's art. not good art every time, but there yeah. was just so much of it. But it's okay because double the art. Double the art this time. There you go. We'll be going in. Oh, also. Yes. Um, uh, nope. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me more about how you retired? No, I was going to talk about how there was a video, like an intro. Was it an intro that someone made? Oh, I mean, I think there are like three of them total now since like the beginning of time. But um, which intro? What Describe it. Describe the intro. We're in a tree house. Oh, yes. Okay. That was just one, right? Yeah. Um, we're in a tree house and then like we almost like warp up there and then like we have our stuff in our hands and the show starts. That's one of them. Sorry, you told me the eyebrow thing and now it's all I can... <laughs> all right. So, okay. You're actually going to talk about of it? Of course I am. We have some serious <laughs> shit to talk about, but before we do that, we need to, we need to fluff this episode. All right. So, I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle I'm so sorry. I'm going to look down no, now. No, it's okay. It's okay. I actually, I, I, I don't mind it. Um, So I accidentally shaved off my left eyebrow. <laughs> like, I just did it. It just happened. Um, I it looks to, fine. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let me make my case, okay? I have these little tiny baby hairs that grow right here. And it makes me look a little bit, you know, not human. Yeah. So I like to shave them off. And then I slipped a little bit and went right into my eyebrow. So I went, swipe! So this part of my eyebrow is missing. And then to even it out, because it was kind of like, poof, um, I went at it a little bit more, and then I just kept shaving and shaving until I didn't have a left eyebrow anymore. I have a little bit. I have like a sliver of hair. And then I was like, well, that's not going to work because it's so hard to like make them look similar. So I shaved off the other side as well. And now this is all I got to work with. So um, I drew them too thick because it's the first time I'm doing it like raw. What do you normally do? Well, I normally just pencil, I like outline what I normally have, but now I don't have anything because <laughs> I shaved it off. So that's what's happening. Oh my God. I'm imagining you with a unibrow right now because it looks a little bit thicker than normal. It's and super thick. You look very good. Thank I think you. It, the eyebrow, the left eyebrow, you can't, you can hardly notice it. Where where did you even almost shave it all off? With? Like the whole. Oh this no, part? that's not even noticeable. At like all. if I touch it, I don't feel any hair. Did there. you have to use a ruler? No, did that you would be too. Use a tape measure to figure mm. out the exact length in centimeters. How <laughs> I far did you like have to this. I was like, this far is good, and then it's, I know it was dumb. It's okay, you know. Sorry that I even brought that up. <laughs> I just I thought it was funny. No, I mean I think it's funny too, which is why I was okay talking about it. I think. You know what I Tell don't me. think is funny. Oh, I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, oh, today? Well, yeah. I okay. mean, okay, I think it's funny now because I've cooled I've cooled down. Oh, Business you were Raina, pissed. Business Rain is dead now. Business Rain was very upset this morning. So give me, okay, I'll provide some context because this is mostly going to be you talking about it. Because, mostly me. Well, yeah, you, okay, if you I don't know what ruckus. we're bringing up, um, today on the SourceFed Nerd channel, uh, they rebranded it and Two videos were posted. One yeah. of them was uh, with a man. I don't remember his name, but he was basically like the producer of the channel now, uh, like what Joel was, I imagine. Sure. Uh, bringing news to everybody like, hey, this is what we're going to be doing. And then another video was posted from uh, one of the hosts. May I don't know fourth. if he's also a producer, but yeah, it was based off of uh, May the 4th, which was recorded when we're recording this today. And he was just talking about like nerd news. Yeah. yeah. 
nerd stuff. So it definitely caught, uh, I imagine, everybody by surprise. Oh, yeah. However, it's like, I, I know most people would assume this was coming. You know, like, you had to imagine they were going to use the channels for something. Actually, I didn't think that they were really? going to... I didn't think that they were going to plunder that audience. I thought that they were going to let it live and die as a legacy channel like they did with Super Panic Frenzy because, like, nobody's touched Super Panic Frenzy. Maybe they just picture, like, a million subscribers, that's too much not to touch because it sucks being in this age and not recognizing which numbers actually matter. Um, But a lot of companies, even if you're getting... I know people that are getting, like, 10,000 views a video who mm -hmm. have a million subscribers and they're able to get... $50,000 $50,000 for a brand deal mm. because of that million dollar. Even though their views don't sustain? First off, I don't know how anybody lands a brand deal for that much, let alone someone with that like low of a view count. Yeah. If if you're out there and you're watching this podcast and you're able to land those deals, God. Tell us. Tell us, please. Well, come hang out with us. You want to be on the podcast? We'll I get. A, the- I got a free bidet. Yeah. That's what That's what I can do. That's the extent of my powers. I get a free fucking bidet. That's pretty good. I want to talk about oh, that Oh, you know what? I was also in a machinima advertisement recently. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, Machinima. That well, makes sense, it was though, for still... it was for the new King Arthur movie. Oh, I yeah. see. I and see. And a lot of people are giving me shit for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's they're like, okay. they're like, it was a cringy ad. However, didn't have to say anything in it. So oh, that's okay. I'm in a lot of <coughs> uh, Crunchyroll ads telling people to watch stuff when they probably don't want to watch stuff. So. I wish I had a <laughs> tissue right now. Oh my yet. god! Ew! <gasps> really? Oh my god! I used my. Uh, oh no no. I used, this is not anything bad. You can see like the whiteboard oh, stuff. Whiteboard I used it to stuff. do whiteboard. So um, if you want to just talk about briefly your uh, experience today. Sure. Reacting to what <laughs> happened. Well, I looked on, in, <laughs> you're so noisy. Okay, continue. Well, I first saw on my feed that that source fed nerd just looked different. Um, and so I went into it and then I saw that a video was posted and it was that, you know, that whatever producer dude video. And it was the most offensive shit I've ever seen in my life. Offensive? You were offended by Oh, oh. my God, yeah. Don't worry, I'm a nerd. Eat my ass. <laughs> oh my God. Don't uh, worry. You can trust me. I'm a nerd and I suck while, like fucking Boba Fett's dick. Very, very well said. Very articulate. Very well, okay. Good. <laughs> I just don't like that because I feel like first, first and foremost, that phrasing really kills me. You know what? It does treat the audience like, like, like they're, they're like, babies. Oh, okay, you're just like us. You know, it. Yeah. I feel like a better approach would have been. This is just the job at like. At what it is. It's, is it is what just it is. what it is, yeah. And it's like... Because he almost did that in the beginning where he was all like, look, change is awful and weird and it's always going to be uncomfortable. And mm-hmm. I was just like, okay. And then and then he went into the whole like, trust me now kind of thing. And now, okay, overall, this is not any jab at him. I'm sure he's getting so much shit. I feel almost oh, bad Oh, I him. no, I definitely yeah. feel bad for him totally, and for the him. second host because... A sp- they're going to get wrecked. I don't I, know if the second guy was a producer, though, but if he's just a host and not a producer, I mean, it doesn't matter. I it guess. doesn't it's matter. It's just I feel point. bad. Yeah, I feel bad because I get it. But, however, though, if you are the producer of an entire channel that is trying to rebrand, you do have to hold some responsibility to that. So, like, if you can't take it, then you don't deserve any of this platform whatsoever. So, for me, I don't hate on him directly as, like, a human being because I obviously don't know this guy. But I do think that it, if as a producer, oh, my God, man, rebranding is hard. You have to, like, really, oh, really... This is- this is Make like, sure you know what you're doing. How can you not know what you're doing? Being given a one million subscriber platform and you rebrand that's like based this? based off of personality. And you're like, a producer? That's where I'm getting at. You are upset. Well, because, okay. Maybe we should have him on the podcast to explain oh himself. God, I, I wish it. we could. Explain I, yourself. I feel like, <laughs> no, actually, we could. Uh, maybe they would. Maybe they would know. come on the podcast. To I don't ex- know. That'd be kind of cool. We're, we're we evil, should, though. Whoa. Yo, okay. <laughs> what if we had, because maybe there... We okay. I'm like get, I'm like stumbling You're over so my words excited. because I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine we have uh, the two guys who okay. are on the now this nerd two videos. Yeah. And then we have Sam. That's so and Whitney bad. Are you and crazy? Philip You're and crazy. Mod and Meg and everyone from Sourcefed Nerd no, no, on this no, no, side. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. But then we just talk it out, and we it's just, not even my thing because I was on Sourcefed, not Sourcefed Nerd. That's true. We just that's hang out. I, I feel bad right now because I don't. I am not probably allowed to talk about this because I'm not a source-fed ner- well, nerd host or a producer or anything. I had no part in that channel. Of course, I like was on a couple videos, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't make me like a big part of it. Well, I see it this way. Um, I for a chunk of time because I was with you on Super Panic Frenzy, like I wasn't a part of it either. You know, like for a huge, huge chunk of it. Um, however, though, 
I think as people that have created brands that have like upped a channel that have created content every single day for the purpose of like what we all do. I think we're totally entitled to an opinion about how rebranding mm-hmm. was on the the tactics used to rebrand was unbelievably bad. I it was so bad. Meg Turney's video I watched that today. I she loved made, that one. She made excellent points. Um, she did. One in particular was that why nix all of those people when you're doing the same if your thing? Agenda is the same. He even said <clears throat> our goal is the same as source fed nerd. Yeah, which is I'm just so curious. What a disgusting thing to I'm say. I'm trying to think of like maybe they just. Yeah, I don't even know. Maybe they just wanted someone older. Yeah. How old is that guy? I don't know. Maybe don't they just wanted know. like. Maybe he doesn't look older than me. Maybe the now this people are just closer to whoever is running the company than well, the my of people. That I mean, okay, fine. I imagine that's what it is. Probably. Um, but my other issue is obviously that um, they already completely fucked up rebranding Seeker. They turned it into now this. They literally did the same exact thing. Oh, I actually don't know much about that. Well, they rebranded, and you know that, like, um, downvote bar? It was as bad as the Source Fed Nerd video. Like, like it's literally... that's just what's going to happen, you know? Well, totally. But then, like, why not learn from that lesson and be more careful about rebranding? Now, you, you know how to rebrand, surprisingly. Amazingly. luckily, I was... given the chance to rebrand with my own personal channel, and I wasn't taking over for anybody. True. I mean, when I was taking over on Source Fed, the first little... Like the first span, a couple months, I was definitely trashed. I mean, yeah, it was definitely better than when I was on Super Panic Frenzy and I had guest hosted on SourceFed because oh, people weren't ready. They, they, that yeah. was a lukewarm. That you had a very lukewarm entrance, and I feel like that wasn't very fair. People to you. hate change. It's mm-hmm. just how it is, and it's like then people want change when I don't know. It's just, it's a it's a weird combination to try to figure out well here's the thing people don't want change but at the same time like i know everybody's saying like nobody wants the same content yeah bring my old source fed back like that's not really the case right clearly it was not working because neither source fed nor source fed nerd were getting the views to make that both of those sustainable yeah so it's like you need to change but you can't change too much it's like there's a very weird line you need to do it like you dump a goldfish into water like you need to like acclimate i thought that was going so differently (laughs) well i mean with kibbs fish and stuff i feel like you have different imagery (laughs) he just dropped (laughs) it onto the fucking cement thing it was oh no oh my god is that a good impression (laughs) that was pretty good it was pretty good specifically for that moment but yeah i'm pretty upset because yeah i'm offended for everybody and like not really so much myself like i was far removed from it like long ago so it's quite different i feel i felt a lot more things about super panic frenzy and we were way more closer to it so we absolutely yeah. didn't say shit but um, i imagine that channel will never be used for anything nobody better touch that shit well it's because i i'm sure whoever's like in charge is looking at that channel they probably don't even this so far off their so radar at this point off, yeah. which is hilarious because i don't think anything's ever going to happen to it good oh wait and then i say that now it's like nicks the next day oh my god i'm gonna go archive it right a now a lot of those videos are super cringy i realize oh i love them uh, i'm down I'm i okay um, with them. i don't know i feel like we've gotten a lot older we're different people now yeah yeah we're different people now we're different vibes different brands even to we're not as loud <laughs> I'm, I'm just as loud <laughs> I don't know where that came from. When are you going to give me a tour of the Crunchyroll office? Oh, you want to go? Where is it? It's in San Francisco. Nope. Okay, can I... If you, can you fly me out there to San Francisco? Holy I'm shit. I'm not going to fly you out. I mean, I have enough miles. Can, I actually no, I mean, can, no, I mean, can you talk to Crunchyroll? Get me, like, the, the you, hookup if you to the office? Day. I'll work for any days. Well, I mean, yeah, like, I could probably get you a day, right? Let's do it. Yeah, cool. seriously. Yeah, you have to come on. I would and... come out for free if my hotel and my flight are paid for. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Dope. Okay, oh, okay. let's do a video together on Crunchyroll. Oh, my God, that would be amazing. Do you think they'd be down? Uh, Probably. I have to ask them first, though. <laughs> I have to pitch it. Take this, for example, now this nerd. Oh, my God. Just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, overall, though, extremely tough situation. and Very tough. Doesn't do, I think, I don't think the videos did the change justice. Especially when they're doing the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. So Im- I imagine what's going to happen with SourceFed now is they're going to do a now this, mm-hmm. just news, now this news. Yeah. Well, yeah, SourceFed. That's just speculation. I have no, no idea. I mean, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. I agree with you. I mean, we, we've all heard rumors. Yeah. Also, I think my other problem is, and this is going to sound so shitty, but you know I'm just a shitty person. Um, 
it was not easy auditioning and getting onto SourceFed. It wasn't. It's just yeah, the way it sure was. wasn't easy auditioning to get on the SourceFed. Well, your yours yours in my situation was no. I'm making fun of me. Oh, okay, why was it easy? I didn't audition. You didn't audition. No, for I've n- I never auditioned for Super Panic to- Frenzy or SourceFed. Well, that's what I mean. Yours and my situation for Super Panic Frenzy is a completely different world, and your situation getting called back onto SourceFed is different because they already like there's no auditioning you like you fucking tested obviously tested positive <laughs> tested positive through the roof. But um when it was 2014 and we were still auditioning from SourceFed. And also, like, I was an intern and that shit was crazy. Like, interning for Phil was, like, the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. Kudos so, to him for finally being free. Oh, now. my God, right? Yeah, yeah. Phil, apparently Phil knows what he's doing. Um, Who would have thought? We, I mean, we all knew. <laughs> but auditioning for SourceFed was really hard. And even getting into the second round and first round internships were hard. You know, it's just, it's the way the culture was built, like, for digital and back in the day. No, it used to be know? very competitive. And it I was think- so competitive. I, and I just, I hate that this dude, who's obviously just a putz, is just allowed to be on camera on our million subscriber platform. Like, why is that allowed? Like, why? <laughs> it just doesn't make any so sense you, at all. you think the best course of action would be for them to start from the ground up? Yeah. I disagree. Because I just think they're... Their rebranding was bad. Okay, okay, fine. I think you're right. You're the right. only way for them to be like financially sustainable is if they started from the same channel. And the other thing is, you know that like everything is still monetized. Like even Super Panic Frenzy is still monetized by them. So like no matter what they're have fun with that fucking hundred dollars every four <laughs> I know, years. Right? Well, at first it was generating a lot when we when it first like oh. shut down. It was generating like a shit ton of money. Sadly. Well, not for a big company. Not for a big company, but um, I I can't say this on camera. Never mind. <laughs> You can't? Oh. You want do you want me to say Mouth it to me. It Mouth it to me. Oh, okay. No, I I know that. Yeah. Um but it's I mean every channel went through Ups and downs. slums and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. better better slums. Better slums and not so slums. I mean, let's let's be honest. The last like is it 3 years of source we could look at social blade right now and mm. and recognize that like that many I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It was not sustainable. There were so many employees and the revenue was probably not great. I mean, we were doing a fucking sponsorship for some yard tool by yeah, the end of it. It's like, I who understand. does that appeal to? I think we sold one. Oh my goodness. No, that was the Moss, Moss, the Moss Blaster. I don't even know what I'm saying now. There's like a music Blaster? thing. I don't know how much was actually sold, but... Uh, That's amazing. Th- the sponsorships, like, it's a pretty clear sign that something is going wrong. Yeah. And it's just... And actually, now that you said it, like, I do agree with rebranding. It's just, it should have been so much more careful than that. Like, yeah. why would it just, that is... You have five weeks, figure it out, you know? Like, you do could have it, even do, had longer. Like, why even launch with May the 5th? Like, good job. I mean, May the 4th. Like, The guy could have dressed, like, uh, he could have dressed with, like, in a zoot suit. Oh, And just waiter. waved his arms around like a, a wacky, a wacky Waving paladin. Waving and arm And I would have been like, yes, this is the channel I wanted to see. Yeah, like, oh, I want of, this wacky boy. But... It did, you know what, I'm sure he was very nervous, as anyone would be taking that over, so when, I'm sorry that I'm just trying to, like, back a dude up a little no, bit. No, it's okay, back a dude up. I mean, you know it's, he's it's, getting... important, it's important to have it from the other side as well. Oh, totally. I know he's getting fucked right now. It's, it's pretty hard to, unless you're some, unless you're Lee Newton or fucking Joe Brett or Elliot Morgan or something, and you are able to talk in such a way that people are immediately able to recognize, like, Okay, I totally get this guy's perspective or this girl's perspective. It's really hard to say exactly what you mean and not sound like a douche. Oh, not like, like having, a douche, but like, like have a clean, a clean brand voice, yeah. and mean what you say, yeah. but also be civil and careful, mm-hmm. right? That is a hard, yeah. yeah. Those are hard points to hit. Totally agree but, with Meg Turney, though. Yeah, yeah. duh, absolutely, it, absolutely. I'm just excited to see what happens next. I mean, I don't know anymore. I don't I don't know if I want to follow it anymore. I think it's just going to make me really upset. Well, I mean, I unsubscribed, but yeah. that's just because I I don't know. I'm not really into like news anyway. Yeah. <laughs> news. I'm not news. into learning things. <laughs> You're not into current events. I barely know. Okay. I feel so out of the loop with everything, with Matt Lieberman, with anything that's happening in the, in the United States right now. All I know is that Sean Spicer left during a... Oh! Do you see that? Yeah, I um, did. It's like at a point where... Uh, I don't where even know anymore. Our government's just like, ah, fuck it. Because yeah. Sean Spicer just literally like. left during uh, one, of the, um, one of those meetings. One of those one meetings. One of the meetings. I forget what they're called. Our meetings. Our board meetings. Yeah. Where he's just standing up there instead of like shaking the podium, making jokes off of Saturday Night Live. He just, he literally, after he's done talking about whatever, he just leaves. And and all the people are like, Sean, Sean. 
It just, I don't know. That's all I know now. Yeah, the only piece of information I ever get is now from NPR because I'm not like actively looking for news. Mm -hmm. So I just get bits and pieces of information as I'm going to the airport or coming here. And then I just don't know what's happening either. Do you think we'll ever have, oh, this is a bloated question. Bloated. Bloated. Do you think we'll ever have successful health care? I was In talking the US? That about I was talking to uh, Kib and James about that today about like how healthcare has been and how it's changing or yeah. if it does if the GOP bill gets passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just it's never seemed good. I don't and think it seems the US... even worse. Like it's gonna get worse. Well, I heard that the main issue with the United States is obviously like the severe gap in like how rich people are and how poor people are. And then on top of that, there like insurance is offered in so many different ways, like through your job or through schools or through mm-hmm. whatever, that there's no way to like regulate it on top of like knowing how much everybody makes and stuff, right? And then Oh my god, fuck, I forgot the bigger point and deal and issue. Um, we're just not really like a homogenous country, so n- you can't make everybody happy no matter what, right? So we're already at a yeah. standstill there. And then, I actually don't even understand how the most rich people in the world are in the U.S. get taxed. I actually do not understand that, so... Really? Yeah. How does it work? You just get like... Well, I can't speak percentage? for like fucking millionaires and, that's and what shit. I was, Yeah, that's what I was going But with, I imagine right? it works just like how it does for other people Where, unless they have like offshore bank accounts or something well i mean they probably do anyway but even like the legal so stuff the that wage doing, gap is what's causing such a rift in healthcare well, what i'm tired of is anyone that talks about anything and just says they don't have an answer well i mean i'm so i mean we don't we don't but, we have opinions though yeah but why like someone with power I mean, I mean like i'll i'll watch a video mm-hmm. that's completely based around Healthcare mm. or any idea. Wow. And by the end of it, like I'm, I'm like maybe I'll actually learn something for once. Yeah. And then by the end of it, they're like, well, I mean, I don't really have a solution. What do you guys think? Well, I'm just fucking tired of it. I mean, it's so sad to know that there's so many smart people working on this mm-hmm. and no one is able to. Because this country's too out big. A solution. It's like way too big. No, I know it's just depressing. Yeah. 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 Speaking of depressing, two of the most depressing dudes I knew, I know, made a podcast together with Joel. Who? Uh, Hundar. Oh my, why is he depressing? Jeremy. I love him. Oh shit. And Joel. Oh, okay. <laughs> you so, just included. Okay. You excited? Um, what are they talking about? Wait, I don't understand. Let me, um, tell you briefly what their podcast is called. Okay. The Boys and I. Oh. So it's a little bit of competition. Oh shit, why? But Did if they we were do to that? collab with them, we could be called The Boys Only Club and I. Oh my god, that's really funny. That's a really good collab potential. I know, I'm excited. That's really That'll good. That'll be a six person. Nope, we're only two people. I was going to say. Oh my God. You know, four people was max ever, right? Like, we can't ever have more than yeah, four I people know. on Earth. That's <laughs> like, why I'm interested to see how these future podcasts with Kib, James, Parker, and you and me are going to go. Well, I think we'll do shifting. James and Kib can never be on a podcast together. What? Why? Are they both the same? They'll just riff off of each other for about 10 minutes. That's excellent. Not riffing, and they'll just say a bunch of weird words, and just oh. ba- and it, yeah. It doesn't move forward; it just moves outward. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I like, no, it's kind of funny. I was gonna say maybe if it happened too many times, though, it would be problematic. Too many. And times. now we're gonna go to our new commercial. <laughs> Why are they the most depressing people? Why did you say that? No, they describe themselves <laughs> as the most depressing. Oh. I mean, they're like, a, we're on the podcast with a with a cynic and a and a a hopeful man oh. and a. Uh, and a pessimist. Oh shit, that is dark. Yeah, yeah. We are we are so positive in comparison to that. Yeah. Truly. We wear pink hats. Yeah, I'm excited about eventually getting the pink hat merch working out. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. We've heard your pleas. Well, we want it to work too. So. There were maybe two or three pleas. Okay, well, we saw them both. <laughs> We've heard all your pleas. We and saw it's them just both. Two or three people. <laughs> and then, you know, I took screenshots and then I framed them. Whatever. Maybe we'll be able to get a healthcare solution from those three boys. From the three boys? You want to ask them that loaded ass, bloated ass yeah. question? Because I'm not smart enough to understand it. I don't have an answer. <laughs> well, I don't think it's ever going to work in the US. It's never going to be like. I'm surprised normal. you didn't jump on me for how hypocritical I just was. Why? You said you didn't think it would ever find a way, right? No, I just said I don't have an answer. Oh, for bang ring. Bang. Yo, speaking of bang ring, I went to a What's fucking. That? I went to a gun range. Oh God, really? Was it yeah. fun? Yes. Oh, nice. I love guns. Um, I remember Luke Springer and Jordan wanted me to go, and then I was all like, "No, I'm traveling." Yeah, I wanted to go with them. Yeah. And Luke had my old number. Oh, great. So I couldn't go, but I went this time. I shot a Magnum. 
Oh, wow. A 500, whatever it's called, Magnum. Well, I don't know what the hell that is. The recoil on that baby. Oh, yuck. Did it make your shoulders all fucked up? No, I was like definitely like twitchy afterwards, though. Oh. I've never shot a gun in my life, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to, but they it's really easy just to get in there and shoot a gun. Anyone yeah. can go do it. It's really fun. I've shot a gun before. Just really? Once. Yeah. I used to work for, this is really funny, I used to work for a junior law <laughs> the enforcement The CIA? Force. No. Oh, wait, a yeah. junior law enforcement yeah, force? Yeah, I used to work for the junior police academy. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was cute. What did you do there? Um, Well, you do a lot of, like, police volunteer work, which is actually a lot of bullshit. Like, you do, like, fingerprint filing and stuff to, like, kind of be in that world. And uh, they took us to a shooting range once, and I don't know what the fuck this gun was. I was, like, a kid. Um, Sounds like a Glock. It's... I mean, probably. Glocks are, like, the most common... What are you looking for? Oh, tissue? Almost there. You got it. Um... Glocks are, like, the most common, like, (laughs) FBI gun, right? Are they not? Or, like... I remember, I'm sure a 9 millimeter is. Probably. I remember like seeing pistol? a lot of Smith & Wessons from X-Files. But anyway, um, yeah, I shot a gun, and it hurt my shoulder so much. Um, well, I'm tiny. True. And I was even tinier back then. I, <laughs> what am I? You're right. I'm do you want to see how bad you. this recoil like crushed me? Yeah, I do want to see. Did you take it in slow-mo? No, I didn't. I wish. It was, I took it on the, the 5D. Oh, never mind. That's actually pretty dope. Although it doesn't come with super slow-mo, mm, despite weird. how expensive it is. It's kind weird. of a bummer. But check this out. So, Let's see. Wow. Let me show you it at the oh, very Oh, shit. End. That looks so cool. Oh, check that. Check out the recoil. Isn't that insane? Dude, you almost hit your forehead. Yeah, they tell you that you can't load it with more than one bullet because it... <laughs> <laughs> because it what? Snort what? Because... What? Is it gonna come out of your mouth now? Oh, what is it? No, oh, nothing's okay. coming out of my mouth. I was just laughing at like how you were so grossed out. Uh, they tell you not to put more than one bullet in it because there have been incidences at other gun ranges of boom, and then, oh no, you shoot twice and the person behind you is fucking dead. Why would you shoot? You can't even trigger this way. If you, I imagine if you were a weaker person and did not know what to expect, mm. there's a chance, whoa! And, and then, then boom, boom, back this way. Yep. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, how dumb are I people? I never felt so much power. It was like the power I imagined I would have felt if this I made mean, me look bigger. I get you, I get yeah. it, I get it. What I should have done is just gotten a telephoto lens so it cuts out everybody there and just, you see like the noses pop into yeah, frame. But just and then bit. I'm right there just looking like very in my power stance. That's this. What, it, oh. That's my power That's stance. That's your power so stance. If you wanted to see more, I can do it. It's very like I can spread show you, out. I can show you a dark power stance. Oh, show me dark. Ew, 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 ew. That's, okay. That one's icky. Did you feel threatened? No, I feel... There's yeah, a science actually. behind it. I do feel a little bit threatened. I don't like this like open palm thing. An alternative science. Oh, I... Our new segment begins. <gasps> Welcome to... How about that transition, though? <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome to alternative... You know, when you say how about that transition, it ruins the transition. Welcome to alternative alternative science. How did this start last week? <laughs> oh uh, probably the most controversy ever to be stirred up by this podcast we had a little disagreement about um, <laughs> about science, and Raina called me retarded. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> and I left that in. Oh fuck! I called you retarded. <laughs> I left it in because I want the world to know that you use that word. I love that. Okay, I used to try really hard not to use that word, and then I hung out with you too much. Yeah. And now we both say. I'm it. not part of source fit anymore. I'll say it all the time. Yeah, whatever. No, I, I mean I'll I'll use it when. It's a bad word. I know. I know. I agree. Yeah. Anyway. But it's just sometimes you have slip ups. Sometimes, sometimes like, gotta, I'm only human. You, sometimes you gotta call your business partner a Riri, whatever. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. Sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> but uh, last week, we had a disagreement about the foundations of science. Uh, Reina, at least for. Okay, here's my perspective. Okay. I don't remember how the argument started, but it got redemption? to a point where you made it seem, at least in my mind, that you thought science was absolute, there is only black and white, there is no room for change, <laughs> okay. and that science is science, nature's math, nature's basically. Nature's math, nature's math. Um, yeah, that's really funny, because we both just had like a different um, scope of science. Like, you were talking about the philosophy of science, which is obviously ever-changing, right? Because you have to come up with new theories, and they change depending and on the theories new Theories are always you challenged. Sure, sure. And sometimes in a, in a blue moon... Sorry, there was a gnat. Sometimes in a blue moon. Yeah. I was talking about... We'll realize about, that the world is not flat. Yeah. One day we learned. So I was talking about the philosophy. Philosophy. Philosophy of it. I was talking about the method of science. Like what turns... Ew, what? Spider. I hate spiders. This room is full of them. 
continue talking? Why? I don't know. That's terrible. Bugs are bad now. I fucking hate this place. Um, but yeah, I was talking about like the method of science and what makes it, what differentiates it essentially from a liberal art, really, like in terms of like college and stuff. So science, you know, in order to like prove a theory, it's not just like a few people saying oh, yes no, to a theory. Oh no, it's tested to, and tested and people yeah. have to like, and they try di- to disprove it and if they can't, yeah. then it makes it even stronger. Yeah, and the most confusing part about it is there is such thing as pseudoscience, as in stuff like psychology and sociology, where as though my one hand could help me from all his germs. Um, but you can basically attach statistics to like a huge, very grandiose theory and so long as the, the statistics happen, like occurs with a plus alpha whatever, um, you can kind of prove that it's extrapolatable. Like it can happen in any sample pool right okay. so that's in my head like that's yeah. what a stem major no, I, is and that's what i have no idea is. what you said something on twitter about stem and i was like oh god maybe i'm i'm overreaching my, stem majors my... are just science majors like you oh. can, it's a bachelor of science and not a bachelor of oh. arts yeah okay like technically psychology and sociology they're pseudo so what does stem stand for i forgot science technical erection yeah mechanics <laughs> i don't know who knows? I don't know what this stands for anymore. I forgot. I've just been calling it forever. So we were just talking about different things. People on Twitter and in the comments got very heated. That's so funny. And I honestly, I still don't fully understand your perspective on this. Um, that's so okay. So explain it like I'm five. I don't think I can. Like, cause I but can't. But do it now. Well, okay. Cause I can explain like, like I'm, like I'm five for mine. Like I'm five for myself. <laughs> it's- Science changes. Forever, it's good. Earth things is in not science, flat. things in science are proven differently and can change at a moment's notice, depending on a new uncovered evidence. It needs science to me needs some kind of universal consensus in order to be depicted as a science, and also it needs the absolute math, which is absolute, to back it up, right? And you can't do that with anything like liberal arts because they're all feelings and like creations, and they're all like, like for example, like Shakespeare is obviously an art of form, right? Uh, and like literary things are art, like all things are. So you can't like have that value in the same realm as measuring for science. And because there's a universal consensus. Well, and I think science, I think Romeo and Juliet. Oh, shit. The science of love? Yeah. Ew. I think it's a... You know they both die. Oh, fucking thanks, Raina. Spoilers? Did you not know they both die? Well, I mean, I did just a month ago watch The Lion King for the first time. I knew the main plot points, though. But wait, Lion King is... uh, Old. No, it's Macbeth, right? Not Macbeth. It's... Is it really? Yeah, it's not Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Romeo wait, it was based like off line. of Macbeth? I, no, it wasn't based off of Romeo and Juliet, I know it that. It was based off of... I was just talking wait. about how I I am very late to watch anything. Oh my god, I can't believe... Oh I, yeah, that is really weird that you haven't seen... I have seen I Romeo forgot. and Juliet. But yeah, I finally caught up. I don't think there's anything else I need to watch. Wait, no, not, this bothers me. It's not Macbeth. It's, um... It's, Lion King is based off of something? Yeah, 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 totally. Uh, Godzilla. Oh my god, that must be... Lion King is based off of Godzilla. Lion King based off of Shakespeare. This better be good. Hamlet? It's based off of Hamlet? Oh, it's Simba is Hamlet. It's Hamlet? What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't say. It says Hamlet. Oh, Hamlet. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Huh. What's the story of Hamlet? Um, I think it's more of the the father uncle God, death talk betrayal. about a movie industry sequel thing. <laughs> yeah. Like I I think it's Oh, wait, no. How it's not based off of Hamlet. Oh. I thought it was though, about like how like you know the father and the uncle like have to like kill each other. I've never seen Hamlet. Oh, I, I know, but you know it. that Mufasa dies. Like, you know that he dies because Scar fucks him over. And yeah. And dr- drops him So that's the... the story of Hamlet, actually? I think so. I don't know Hamlet. I don't know Shakespeare. I'm really foreign. Do you think Disney takes a lot from Shakespeare? Does every... Well, I imagine everybody takes a lot from Shakespeare. Uh, I think a lot of the stories are taken from other... I love uh, The Hermit stories. and the Shrew. That's my favorite one. The Hermit and the Shrew? You ain't never heard of Hermit and the Shrew? You mean... 10 Things I Hate About You. Really? That's what it... What the and it's, fuck? And it's Taming of the Shrew. It's Taming of the Shrew. Then what's the Hermit and the Shrew? What's the Hermit and... You fucking tell me! What's the Hermit and the Shrew? Is that not a real thing? No, are you going to look it up? I lost our notes. Oh my God. Wait, Hermit and, and the, the shrew. shrew? Is that not a real thing? I don't think so. Are you talking about Taming of the Shrew? Oh, it's the Bush Pilot Shrew and Hermit. I don't... What is By that? A. E. Stroud. Did I read this? Oh, before? it's not even like Aesop's Fables. I thought maybe like Aesop's Why Fable the kind fuck of. Fuck! Do I know this? I don't know, and that is extremely. Is it obscure? I don't know. I'm. I'm, not I'm very, very sure I was thinking of Taming of the Shrew. Probably. But yeah, Ten Things I Hate About You is that movie. I mean. Oh, it was story. Ten Things I Hate About Shrews. 
That was what it was, I What's think. What's a shrew? A shrew a is woman? like a hermit. Oh, what? Really? Isn't it like a bad woman? Just a bad a woman. Bad What's lady. a bad man? A shrew? What's a bad... <laughs> no. What is, is a shrew? A... K-shra-shra. What is a shrew? Here we go. A shrew is a small mouse-like insectivorous Whoops. mammal with a long pointed snout and tiny eyes a... or a bad woman. Whoa, well, I did it. Well, that's putting it lightly. It's a bad-tempered or aggressively assertive woman. <gasps> Me. Wow. I had no idea. Also um, can be used uh, a virigo, a huh? dragon. You can call a bad woman a dragon. A dragon. A termagant. What's a termagant? A fishwife. You can call a bad woman a fishwife. That sounds really weird. What are its implications? A coarse-mannered woman who is prone to shouting. Me! You're a fishwife, Raina! Uh, <laughs> Is I hate that your all... fishwife noise? Is that your fishwife mating uh, call? Uh, or a woman who sells fish? That's me! You sell both fish and you're mean! I do both! Wow. I'm perfect. That, I mean, now opened know... my eyes a little bit. Oh my god, alternative science works? Now we learned so much about how... not science. Wow, I can't even believe wow. how we got from talking about source fed nerd to talking about fishwife. That's amazing. This fucking That's podcast, why this podcast sucks. Yeah, this podcast sucks. Why are you listening? You know, um, Mike Falzon said he would listen to one of these. So maybe it'd be this one. Oh my one. god, I, I hope he doesn't. Did you see me trying Mike, so hard? Mike, if you're watching to... this podcast, just no, t- tweet at me. No, Mike, please don't watch this podcast. I don't want you to know what's wrong with us, truly. You probably already know what's wrong with Subdick. That's not really. We worked together for a solid. How long was that at SourceFed? Do you know how long I was at SourceFed? Uh, you were at Super Panic Frenzy for a year. A year, and then it was and probably then you about took a six, six months. Break, and then... Oh my god, so I've only worked for the SourceFed company for a year and a half? For, yeah, for when we were under Discovery. October, Internet. November, December, January. That's December, okay. January. You, yep. Was it? Did it end in January or February? February. What ended? It ended February 1st, so it was literally almost six months almost. that I worked there a second time. Yeah. So... <laughs> A year and five months, I worked at that company. A true veteran. (laughs) A true alumni. And I made uh, the most out of it ending, which is a very sad... Oh, my God. Isn't that fucked up? That is fucked up. I mean, I get it, though. Like, I understand. But it's also... it's You can't control that. That's that's just how things go. No, but I saw it, and I was like... I I saw its balls. That means... Yeah. And and I crushed crushed it. Crushed it. Uh, that's okay because that just means you are a good. <laughs> that means I'm man. a survivalist. You're a survivalist. I'm like the guy on the island that gets. Just un- does whatever you gotta do. What's that movie where they drop the rock on the fat kid? The fly. Oh my god. The uh, island. Fuck it. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh hey, Hermit and the Shrew. Hermit and the Shrew. No, it's not Hermit and the Shrew. No, Hermit, just Grave. for you. It's not Grave of Fireflies. Lord of the Flies. There we go. Lord that of made. The flies. That was the first time I ever cried watching anything. What? Why? Did Dude, I don't know. I felt really bad for that fat kid. Oh. He was like. He was standing then down there, and the, the everyone was crowding around him. I don't remember if they were like making fun of him or not. They, they were, might have been. They were beating him up or something, maybe. Mm, I think they were just yelling at him, pulling him. Whatever. Dumbass. Drops a goddamn boulder on his head. Yeah, it was very killing. shocking. Yeah. and I laid down next to the couch and I started crying. My parents were like, they didn't believe me at first. How old were you? Oh man, I must have been like eighteen. <laughs> no, I was like, I was like ten, <laughs> if if that, like eight. It was like right right after kindergarten, whatever age that is. So seven. After kindergarten, I might have like been three. five, six, six. First grade is six years old. It was before first grade, I think. So five. Dude, that is a big leap from what you just said when you were like, I was ten. <laughs> Honestly, anything, anything before two days ago, I forgot about. I, I understand. I know how you work. There's no room to do anything now in my brain. I know. There's only so much space available. Oh, my God. Every day is a new stress, and I love it. Oh. Do you 8 to 2? Is that your day Not anymore. Day? Depending. I mean, tonight it's going to be because I still have to edit my video. Mm. But um, I had help editing this one. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So that's going to be a, a big change if I can bring them on board. Although I'm doing budgeting now and I'm trying to figure out how much money comes in and how much comes out and how much is left for fun money. And let There's me tell no you, fun money. there is no fucking fun money. There's I'm like no a peasant now. Money. I'm like yeah. one of you guys. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like a, I'm like a little impoverished boy who Let's... just eats his meals very fast because he's not sure when his next one will come. And you're not sure if anybody else is going to snatch it from his hands. <laughs> um, wait, wait, let's reminisce oh. about when we had money. 
Um, EMC seafood. Don't you miss those days? Did we just I go went there out a couple lunch? weeks ago? Oh shit! They got better again. They got better again. Yeah, Remember the they lobster roll was good. Minutes? And they have the best key lime pie. Sorry, this is not relatable to any of you guys because uh, I'm sure you haven't been to uh, the village in the Woodland Hills area <laughs> and gone to EMC's this everywhere. place called EMC Seafood. There's one in, there's one in Santa K-Town. Monica? There's one in Santa Monica. There's one in K-Town. Actually, I don't know about the one in Santa Monica, but oh. there's definitely one in like downtown LA. Food. Food's so good. I miss eating really good food. I, I need to eat better and eat healthier. Have and you been exercising? Out. God, no. Oh my God, I just started. I've been sick. Oh, that sucks. And that's yeah. my excuse even when I'm not sick. I know. You're always sick, though. Did you notice? <laughs> I've been sick four times this I know. year. I've had How? the flu. Mm-hmm. I've been. I've had food poisoning. You had real flu? Like real flu? Real flu. Real and I got a flu <laughs> shot, too. And I, got, I had a real bad food poisoning, the worst I've ever had in my life. I had a strep throat in Iceland. And now this, uh, just a bad cold. Mm, yeah. I've been sick a lot this year, too. I don't know what's happening. I thought that or I was we. like... We used to work out. Don't you remember this like really specific moment in time when when we, we were, were fit, fit and healthy and like weirdly good at stuff? Like, I was like on the verge of having two packs. To on the verge, so close, so close. Like it was flat. Yeah, but it, was it wasn't flat, packed. Not flabby at all. And now I'm a flabby boy. Yeah, now there's a lot of spillage. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of openness. I mean, same. That needs to be closed. Yeah, and I'm tired of tightened it. up. I don't know even what workout regimen I should work out with Hundar, but he lives. Oh my god, so far away. He He's amazing. Too far away. He's great. You should... Oh, good. Keep giving him compliments. I love him. Live on the podcast. He didn't even let me through the gate last time I went there. <laughs> what a shitter, really. I know. What a little <laughs> shitter. Like, we had to shoot a bit of us. I'm tired of saying the word bit, honestly. I love bits. I'm going to say the word goof now. Oh, ew. That's... Ew. So... <laughs> I wanted I'm to shoot, shoot a, a gag goof. with him. I wanted to shoot a little... I wanted to uh, gag on Hundar the last time I went there. <laughs> but that's a but he wouldn't let me in the fucking gate, and we had to stay outside and shoot the gags out there. Why didn't he let you in? Because he he's afraid of me. You? He thought I was going to put peas everywhere. Uh, what? Last time I did you watch the couch shop video? No. I went there, I dropped peas. Oh, just and then us? he said it was a mess to clean up, and then I brought more peas the next time, but it was to shoot a pea bit. Was it frozen gag. peas? They were they were frozen. Oh, they got thawed out. I'm sure they had been thawed a little uh, bit. Oh well if you step on it, it gets all fucked up, so I get well, I get why he's mad at you. I'm sure he yeah. understands. I, I mean they put me in a cow chop like den with dish soap and mouse traps. That sounds really horrible. It was fun. Okay. It was really fun. <laughs> Wait, did you get to like did you get hurt? No, I mean, mouse traps hurt. They hurt. I've touched oh, one before. It's not like finger breaking pain, though. No, no, it's, no. It's just like it's, ah. more, it's more shocking, right? No, it's more pain. Oh god, okay. A little shocking, but it's <laughs> more pain. Yeah. But uh, I shot. Oh, you know what else is cool? Mm. I'm I'm so excited about it. Clearly, uh, I have always been very nervous around Elliot Morgan. Why? I don't know. Oh, because he's you, but more handsome and better. <laughs> So I've always been a little nervous around him. Yeah. The last time um, we went, Kim and I went over to his uh, apartment Ooh. to shoot a gag with him. And I hate this one. It was just so natural. The guy is fucking fantastic. Yeah. And he's brilliant. He's so nice. Yeah. And he's so smart. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I don't but know. Shout you're... out to Ellie Morgan. My God. <laughs> well, are you not nervous to see him anymore? No, you're still nervous. No. I don't think I'm actually doing these gags with everybody. I don't think I'm actually that nervous. I hate to be that like... you're saying gags. I hate that. I hate gags. I like bits more. Go back to bits. No, everybody says bits now. It's annoying. It's like I, I look at every video and they're like, oh, gotta do a bit. Gotta do a bit. And I've said it before too. And it's just like, gotta when we were at SourceFed, we would talk about bits. Well, that's because we were trying to incorporate that again. Remember? Like, we would, inside I mean, of the story. I mean, actually, no, stuff. we would do bits, but we'd never talk about that. Oh, that was a good bit. That was a bit. We uh, did a bit. And now that's all I hear is just bit, 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 that's, bit. That's all I ever heard over at SourceFed. Did it stop? Oh, no, it didn't. I'm sorry. It just didn't, like, load. Sorry. Um, that's all I ever heard ever when I was at SourceFed since the beginning of time. Bit? I just had to mention that. What? That you didn't the like bit bits? The bit thing that's oh. happening right now because everybody's talking about it and I'm just it's like hearing a song on the radio too much can you call it a goof (laughs) try calling it a goof I just don't like I have been no you've been calling it gag and it's been gross just this podcast alone oh but normally I call it a goof oh but then someone said that that H3H3 guy calls it a goof oh really yeah I don't know so I need to come up with my own word for it damn life is hard yeah it's hard not to encroach on someone else's territory (laughs) um actually we don't have too much time left but let's talk about this for the last thing because this is pretty important oh this is actually a little interesting let Uh, me throw this question at you at anthro potato asked why actually you didn't write the whole goddamn thing down so i gotta go oh but i I shortened it you could tell what it needs to be why i deleted the videos so basically he was asking about what happened with all of your old what minecraft videos yeah and i never actually talked about why i did i think i posted on the source fed reddit at a certain point why i did it yeah but 
I deleted, ooh, so I had about, I think, 170 million views on my channel, 180 million. I deleted about 170 million, do, do, 170 million views worth of videos, which is 99% of my videos. There like were, accumulated numbers though, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. There were about 20 videos left when I was done. And oh. at first, nobody noticed, and then people started noticing more. I didn't think I was going to talk about it because I figured the people that go back and watch those videos probably... 1% out of the 100%. Mm. How many physical videos did you delete? Couldn't tell you. Probably over 600? 700. Over 700, really? Maybe. Wow. Yeah. I was been... thinking 600 or so, but... I, I don't remember. It was wow. it was a lot. Yep. Could be even 200. <laughs> I don't know, Could be I don't very know how many little, it was. Actually. <laughs> but I deleted those videos because I was so proud of what we were doing now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd always thought about deleting at least my Minecraft videos <clears throat> because I was... I do appreciate where I, I came from yeah. with all of those. I don't regret it at all. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't be here. True. Uh, but there's a point where I am a little embarrassed of what I used to do. And that sounds rough. And you just don't want it out there? Or you just don't want to be associated with it? Because are, those are two different things. I don't want to be associated with it. Mm. Because I think branding is so hugely important. And I also don't know what I've said in a lot of those videos. Oh, so, I see. It's just, I mean, not worth them being up. Yeah. Um, I also was considering, it was a, a little bit of a strategy uh, thing as well, because I figured if I had less videos, people are really enjoying these vlogs, mm -hmm. alternative lifestyle videos. Uh, they're really enjoying them, and people are going back and watching and watching and watching, but what happens when they get to a video that I'm not proud of and I know they won't be interested in it either? it'll be less enticing for them to watch a new video, I think, because mm. what if they think it could be one of those? Mm -hmm. For instance, reaction videos. You didn't like those? No, I... What about your comments videos? Um, I liked those. I didn't, I'm surprised you changed I that. didn't like anything before this because it was what everybody else did. It is. Everything I was doing was what everybody else no, did. No, it's true, and you were very conscious of it. Like, yeah. And also, we were making SEO-specific videos for Super Bandic Frenzy, so like that totally carries yeah. into And I'm everything. a big brand freak. I get it. I know. Uh, I change my brand all the time, and it's just this time I'm extraordinarily proud of it. So I wanted to make that that change. Also, the bingeability factor. Uh, mm. A channel with a smaller amount of videos take bit. I mean, it's the name's in the title, Binging with Babish. The guy does the same videos the whole time, and he has like an amount of videos where you can watch all of them and you can go back every day and you can watch more and you'll still be interested because you know exactly what you're going to get and you know that there aren't an over like there's there aren't too many to where you're like outnumbered by the videos and you, you it's not over abundant yeah and it's not a brand there are no brand changes in it uh, wait so what does he do just delete old videos no he is fairly new oh and his videos are all they have the same concept Oh, so okay. it's just they're. Oh, so you're you really gonna binge it. his his videos? I gotcha. You didn't want a sudden like switch in your branding. All yeah, of I feel sudden, like if someone if clicked back, they're watching, like, oh, yeah, what's with all know? this yellow? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's just. Oh, I see. The, it sucks because I do cherish a lot of those videos. Totally. I really do. But I think I was just a, I was a different person back then. Well, there, it's not. I mean, you just like, you you have them somewhere in your possession. Well, I've deleted. A lot. Oh wow! Of you them. straight up deleted them. I have all of the animations I've done. I was sad about that. I when I first asked you about it, you were like, "Oh, I'm I was like, can you not delete uh, Bohemian Craft City?" And you're like, "No, that's staying on there." And it's not. It could be no. It's it's deleted, but I, I have can't. the video still. However, you deleted it. I privated every oh. video that is a sponsored video. Okay. So I, I was I would recommend if you are planning on doing the same thing, uh, delete the videos you that aren't sponsored. But keep the ones that are just in case somebody comes back and they're like, why'd you delete it? Because you're probably in a log somewhere that knows. Yeah, they, yeah. they track you if you... They uh, track you. Yeah. No, they do. No, they, they do. do. They do. Like I know they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's... Um, wow. There's more to it. I'm not explaining everything right now. I of probably course. sound like a little bit of an asshole when I explain it. I don't think so. But there are genuine reasons why I did it. And also, I'm kind of a spur-of-the-moment person. You are. And... It was a Makes it very easy to work with you. And once I did a little bit, I <laughs> once I did a little bit, I was like, oh, fuck. It's like when you cut your hair wrong. You gotta, like when you shave off your eyebrow by accident, you gotta keep Welcome going. Welcome to Boys Only Club episode 10. Oh, my Goodbye, God. Goodbye, everybody. Holy shit. It's too good. See you guys next week, Sunday at 8 a.m. <laughs> you can get this podcast, hopefully SoundCloud will have Hopefully everywhere. It. Hopefully wow. it works out this time. <laughs>